In the history of the women's suffrage movement, Harry Byrne might not be a household name, but on August 18, 1920, this young Tennessee state representative held the fate of the 19th Amendment in his hands. His vote, swayed by a powerful letter from his mother, would become a pivotal moment in American history. Initially a supporter of suffrage, Byrne faced immense pressure from his party and constituents to oppose it. But then came Feb Byrne, Harry's mother. In a handwritten letter, she offered more than just maternal love, she urged him to vote for suffrage and don't keep them in doubt. Her words helped Byrne find his compass. When the vote reached a deadlock of 48 to 48, Burns cast the tie-breaking vote with a firm I. His decision went beyond political maneuverings. It was a son honoring his mother's belief in a fairer, more equitable society. Did you know?